Okay, so this video is about area and the area formulas of some basic figures. Okay, so first of all, what is area? Well, area is the amount of space in square units that fill a figure. So it's the amount of space uh, that goes into something. So the easiest one to see is this one in California. So all this yellow here in the map of California, that'd be the area of California. So that'd be like the, uh, the total area of California. Uh, this is actually a shot of an interesting place. This is uh, Area 51. So there's actually this place in uh, Nevada where that's uh, supposedly aliens or whatever. I don't know what's out there. Nobody really does. But anyways, um, the idea is that the government has blocked off a particular area. So all of this right here is Area 51. It actually extends out quite a bit. Um, and then these over here are some of the shapes that we're going to figure out areas of. So we got a triangle... Uh, parallelogram basically and we've talked about areas of circles already okay. Okay. alright <clears throat> so the area of a rectangle this is shows you what I'm talking about about square units so uh, the area of a rectangle if I were to count all of these units so I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Wow, that took forever. 28. So the area of this uh, rectangle would be 28 square units. We can just use a U for units. Typically, we would do like inches or centimeters or something like that, but we'll just use units. Okay. So this particular... Uh, rectangle, there's an easier way to do that, right? If we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven across, so this is seven units this way, and then we know we have one, two, three, four, we know it's uh, four units this way, we just do seven times four, and we know how many units fill up all this, and this too. So it's like that's 28, right? That's 28 units. So we talk about 28 units squared. Okay, so the area of a rectangle is, if we were to call this the base of the rectangle, the bottom, the base. Okay, so we're going to call this the base. And then this we're going to call the height. We know that the formula for the area of a rectangle is actually area equals base times height. So this is our formula. So anytime we have a rectangle, all we have to do is multiply the base times the height, and we find out the area of the rectangle. This one happens to be 28 units squared. Okay, next one. Okay, the next one is the area of a parallelogram. Now here we have a parallelogram. And the definition of a parallelogram, just real quick, is that this is parallel to this. And this is parallel to that. Okay, So that's a parallelogram. Now, <clears throat> what's cool about a parallelogram is that it also has an easy, simple little formula. If we were to take a parallelogram, and let's say that I took this section right here, and I hacked off this uh, triangle right here. So I'm going to take this triangle, right, and I'm just going to essentially cut it off that's not going to do it is it and move it over here like that okay so if I was to do I don't know where these came from go away so if I was to do that now I have this thing that looks like that well check it out what's that that's just a rectangle isn't it Okay, so because I can actually turn a parallelogram into a rectangle, the area for a parallelogram is also base times height. So that's for a, a parallelogram. Mm -hmm. So the area of a parallelogram is base times height. Pretty easy. So that would tell me all of this area in here, and notice that I just took that triangle and cut it off and stuck it on the other side. So then that's this, right? Okay. The next one is a triangle, and we turn white, too. Look at that. <clears throat> okay, so a triangle is a little bit trickier. Uh, 
here we have a triangle, but if I was to draw an extra line or two, I could draw this line, and then I could draw that line. And I'm drawing this kind of quickly, but the idea is that if this was perfectly like that, and that was perfectly like that, then this green shape right here is now a what? That's a parallelogram, isn't it? So what I would do is I would take the area equals base times height. But that would give me all of this. All of that. That would give me all of that. But I'm only looking for just the triangle piece, which would be this. But guess what? That triangle piece is actually half of the green. So what I would have to do is do area equals base times height, and then to cut it in half I divide by 2. Okay, so the area of a triangle, and then I'm going to erase this. The area of a triangle is area equals base times height divided by 2. The last one is a trapezoid, and the trapezoid is probably the most confusing one. Uh, I'm going to go over it really quick, but if you don't get it, that's okay. Just make sure you write down the formula so you know what the area is. All right, so first of all, I'm going to label some things. I'm going to call this the base. I'm going to label it B. And then I'm going to call this up here the top, and I'm going to label it T. Okay. And then I've got another third thing that would be the height, like that. Okay, and I'm going to call it H for height. Okay, so now what we have to do is if we're looking at this, um, pick a different color, let's use pink. Okay, if we're looking at this and I take this trapezoid and I copy it like perfectly, okay, what I could do is I could take it and then select the whole thing copy it, and then I'm going to paste it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it upside down like this. Okay, and I'm going to stick it right there, if I can get it just right. Now I have this larger thing, which is another parallelogram. Look at that. So in order to figure out the base of this parallelogram, I need to add the base and the top like that. I need to add these two together. Okay, so if I add that, then my area of that parallelogram is going to be base plus the top times the height. Okay, so notice I did the base of the parallelogram. I'm picking a different color here with my highlighter go. Okay, the base plus the top, and then I'm going to multiply that times my height, which was picking a different color right here. Okay, my height. Okay, so base plus top times height gives me that. Well, now what I really want is just one of these, don't I? Okay, so what I really want is just this guy right here. So in order to find that, because I have two of them put together, I divide this thing by two. Okay, so thus the area of a trapezoid becomes the area equals the base plus the top times the height divided by two. If you don't understand this, you might have to watch the video a couple of times, especially for the trape trapezoid, um, and then you can figure out how I got the area. The most important thing, though, for all of these is just to know that trapezoid goes with this one, and the triangle one, and so on and so forth. Okay, let's practice a couple of these. First of all, let's try the rectangle. Okay. So my rectangle, let me make one here. Actually, I'm going to use a special tool to make it. So, boop, there we go. Okay, a rectangle. And the rectangle is, let's say this is 7, uh, we used 7 already. Let's do 10 inches, and this is 3 inches. Okay. Well, I know that my area is equal to the base times the height. So this is my base, and this is my height. So I just do area equals 10 times 3, and I get the area equals 30 inches. And because we're talking about area, it's inches squared. 
So that's all this. If I were to fill in this whole thing and spend the rest of my life coloring this, um, you would see that that would be filled in. Okay. Uh, the next one, let's do a um, parallelogram. That means I need a different tool. Take that tool. Okay, so let's do our parallelogram. The humble parallelogram. It's pretty close. It's not perfect. Okay, and I'm going to tell you that the height of this thing, let's do a different color, is, oh, let's do four feet. And the width of it is 11 feet. Okay, so then that equals my base, and then this equals my height. Okay, and typically it's drawn with like a little box there, so you know that that's the, that's the height. Okay, so then uh, my area for a parallelogram is equal to also base times height, so I do area equals, whoops, it looks like an H, huh? My area equals 4 times 11, and I get area equals 44 feet squared. And that would be all this. Alright, let's do a triangle and a trapezoid and then we'll be done. Okay, the next one I got my triangle. Whoopsie. Okay, and then I'm going to draw in a little height. Oh, snapping. Never mind. Uh, we'll do it by hand. Huh. We're going to do a little height. Okay. And let's say that this is, oh, I don't know, um, eight uh, meters. And then we're going to do across the bottom, we're going to do 10 meters. Okay. What's the area of the triangle? Well, the area of the triangle is equal to base times height divided by two. Because remember, it's a parallelogram basically that's been cut in half. Okay, So uh, my area equals my 8, oops, let's do 10 because that's the base, times 8 divided by 2. So that's area equals 80 divided by 2. So my area equals 40 meters squared. Oopsie. 40 meters squared. No problem. All right, last one, the trapezoid. This is the tricky one. So you have it on like a dotted line of some kind. Let me fix that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to quickly make a little trapezoid. I don't like it. Let's fix it. There we go. Okay, that's pretty close. And this one, we'll do an orange, and I'll draw in a height. And I'll say that this height is, uh, let's do, let's see. Oh, how about six centimeters. And then we'll do the base of, let's say, uh, 12 centimeters. So the area of a trapezoid is A equals the base plus the top times the height divided by 2, which means I'm going to need a top. So we'll do um, how about 8 for the top, 8 centimeters. Okay, so then that means area is going to be uh, 12 <clears throat> plus 8 times 6 divided by 2. So then, and guys, on this one, what you have to be careful of is that 2. Because what a lot of people do is because this the top is so complicated right here, this part is so complicated that they forget about the 2 on the bottom and they don't put it on there. So you have to make sure they put that on there. Okay, because otherwise you'll forget to do it and then you'll get the answers wrong. So we get area equals 20 times 6 divided by 2. 
There's a two down there. Come on, Mr. Two. After my little spiel about it, I gotta put it on there now, huh? There he is. Okay. So I'm gonna go up to the next line because I obviously ran out of room. So my area is equal to uh, 120 divided by 2. So area equals 60 centimeters squared. And that's for the trapezoid.